I decided to go out again, do some shooting. Uh, different camera today. This is a, a Lomography Instax camera that shoots um, the square Fuji film Instax instant film. Well, I've taken a couple of Instax pictures of this graffiti. How many shots can I take? That was my first shot. Yeah. Black, mostly black frames. Did you ever get derailed by your equipment? <laughs> Instax camera is not working, number one. Number two, this face mask doesn't really work while I'm talking. And I'm wearing these gloves that are supposed to have the little, you know, allow me to use the touch screen and they don't work. Last week was easy with the Polaroid camera walking around and it worked, the pictures worked. Uh, and I just started off this walk and everything didn't work as well. And I'm finding that it's derailing my my ability to be to not think about being creative, but to actually create. So you know, it's easy to blame equipment because it's right there. You know, it doesn't work. Therefore, it's not my fault. It's the equipment's fault. So it's very easy to blame things. Probably a lot of you are sitting there, and I'm one of them, feeling a sense of derailment, loss of control, because we're locked up and we can only photograph stuff that's around us or in our backyard or, you know, take a little bit of a walk. But like, for instance, I, I can't do any street photography anymore. There's really very few people out. This pandemic has derailed my ability to go and take candid pictures of people because there's nobody out. Very easy to blame the outside world for what's going on on the inside. It's trickier to look inside and say, what's going on? So what do we do to get back into that? What do we do to get back on the rail again? So it's springtime. And one of the things I like to do often is photograph flowers for no, reason whatsoever other than the mere act of photographing flowers. Tulips are those things that, how could you not photograph them when you see them? So the great thing about digital cameras is that I can shoot as many tulips as I want. I just stick them on my hard drive, you know? Taking the shots of the flowers is, is maybe a way to loosen up the funk a little bit, you know? Maybe it's like the WD-40 of creativity in a way. The payoff is perhaps a nice shot of a flower, but maybe that's not the reason. The reason is to loosen up those things that got stuck. Try to walk away from the wood chipper here. By the way, I come in uh, and photograph these every spring. Uh, this, this road is called Albemarle Road. Uh, what I mean, what's co considered Ditmas Park. Uh, this is a very, very old neighborhood in Brooklyn. Oh, well, I got something to talk about then. Here we go. I'm not a historian here so much, so I'm gonna get this not quite right. But I believe this whole neighborhood was built at the same time. Well, many of the houses here are uh, from the late 1800s, early 1900s. This area specifically, I think it's kind of a gated community. It's not, there's not real gates, but there are these delineation markers on the streets and it's about five, it's like five blocks this way. Here, I'll show you. So you can kind of see, hopefully you can see the end of the road there. Coney Island Avenue is over there. And I'll swing around here. And this way is where the subway is. So I bring you to this spot 
because the photograph that I'm about to show you is an old picture from the early 1900s. The photograph you're looking at is an aerial, probably from a balloon. And what's really interesting is that if you look at the bottom, you're going to see a small group of people who are, are in charge of holding the, the balloon, or at least monitoring the balloon. And the picture is a panoramic of this neighborhood. You can see a lot of the houses that are in that photograph are still around. You can see there are horse and buggies. And in fact, in the back right, you can see Greenwood Cemetery. We did a couple of shots of uh, tulips help put me back on the rails again. I don't know, made me smile. We all need to find that thing that will put us back on track. And it's not like we can just flip a switch, turn it back on again. This whole event that's taking place around the world has thrown everybody off. And, and some people can roll with it and some people are having a harder time with it. And it's going to affect us for some time. It's going to affect our creativity uh, in both in good ways and bad ways. It's going to be really interesting to see the kind of photographs people take after this or just what kind of art will come from the, the end of all this. I'm really curious how this is going to change us, but we need to find those things that we're able to put ourselves back on track, whatever it is, you know, the WD-40 for our, our creativity. So if you want to take pictures of tulips or your cats or discarded gloves on the floor, I see some people doing that. That's great. You know? Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up from here in uh, Ditmas Park. If I've got something to say next week, you'll see me. So until, until then, uh, hang in there and take care of yourselves. And uh, later. This is an additional video from what you just saw. I just wanted to throw it in. I couldn't resist, uh, especially because I went out with uh, the Polaroid camera. See? and decided to, to do some more Polaroids. This is uh, the next day, Sunday, and I decided to go into Greenwood Cemetery and uh, I think photographing those tulips yesterday put some WD-40 on my uh, creativity. Uh, Dave Swidek will appreciate that, so hey Dave. <laughs> okay. Anyway, enjoy the pictures and uh, talk to you again. Remember, subscribe, press buttons to get dings or whatever you do on YouTube if you want more, if you want to see more videos. But uh, I had to throw this in. Anyway, I'm talking too much. All right, goodbye.